गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज डॉक्टर संजीव बनर्जी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग तेजपुर यूनिवर्सिटी असम सो वी हैव बीन आर्ट्स इन दिस मूवी पोस्ट क्रिएशन दैट टू एम्बेड अ स्मॉल एल ई डी वीडियो ऑन द कॉमन डाउट्स दैट द स्टूडेंट्स मे रेज ऑन द अर्लियर एन टी पी एल वीडियो दैट वी हैव एम्बेडेड सो लेट मी कम स्ट्रेट टू माई कोर्स फर्स्ट दिस इज my moodle website where i have created the course on strength and materials here i have embedded a course content as well on the strength and materials and the nttl video link on strength and materials if you open this link it will directly open in the youtube this particular video lecture on strength and materials as the materials uh, applied mechanics can be broadly classified into solid mechanics and fluid mechanics so uh, students may raise a very common question on a particular topic that is a stress strain curve and i will be addressing today that only so let me come uh, directly to the stress strain curve where this is a y axis is a true stress and x axis is a true strain this is a true stress strain curve where there are different points see the number one point is a true elastic limit where up to this number one point a few dislocations only start to move Uh, point number two is a proportionality limit. Up to this point number two, the stress is proportional to strain, so it is a straight line, and this is an elastic region where the deformation actually we can get back to the original uh, the length of the specimen. So while releasing the load, that is the elastic deformation. After that, the elastic limit or E strain. This is the elastic limit or E point. Point number three. After that, plastic deformation will start. That means after three, the plastic deformation is quite negligible. So after that, this is the offset yield point or true stress. What is that? Is that that if we cannot measure properly this point number three, so we can have a stress value for a particular uh, given value of strain. That is a point one percent or point two percent of strain over here. So that is the offset yield uh, uh, this one uh, point. So for example, we draw a line. Parallel to this particular straight line, where the stress is proportional to strain, and here, so we can have a value of stress for a particular value, for example, 20% of strain over here. After that, this is the upper yield point and the lower yield point. So here, we find a yield point phenomena in many of the engineering materials, like mild steel and the PU. That is, you know, that uh, many of the aluminium alloys as well. A uh, yield point phenomena where we can find the upper yield point and the lower yield point over here. Though we are not giving this point in this particular stress strain curve, so these points students may raise a very common question regarding these various points of this stress strain curve. So, like that, I would like to end up my this LED video regarding the stress strain curve, and that uh, will clear some particular doubts uh, uh, on the particular this one this uh, NTPL lecture on strength of materials. Thank you.